Hi everyone, another Marky Mark video. Uh, my goodness, it's hot today in the UK. Listening to some records, um, some uh, 80s stuff really, Nina Cherry. So female vocals predominantly today. And it's prompted me to do this video following a follow-up video that I made about 11 months ago about this cartridge. And I wanted to just uh, summarize the five key things that I really like about this, this cartridge and um, share that with you. So it's been 11 months and um, I've played lots of, lots of different types of music. And one of the key things with this cartridge, moving from the Exact to the Riga Anya Pro, um, has been just the, the level of detail. It's it really has just unveiled a layer of of um, yeah, just cloudiness. <laughs> That's all I can describe it. It's it's things things just seem a lot clearer, more detailed, and it just pulls out so much more. Um, secondly, the richness of the music I'm listening to now with this, it's just punchy and and rich um I, i'm finding that um certainly through the sort of mid-range uh it, it it's just really really stunning the way it presents a, a different types of music certainly most of my stuff is is jazz but i, I you know a lot of the kind of pop um um analog and digital stuff it just very rich in what I'm hearing. It's lovely. Uh, thirdly, the the bass. Now, I'm I do like a bit of bass, but this just seems to take it to a whole new level for me. It's the, the bass is just generate the way it generates bass is just incredible. What I'm hearing, um, Art Blakey on the drums, for example. Uh, um, uh probably not a very good example but i'm just hearing so much more in the music um if i'm listening to something like um you know paul chambers or scott lafaro on on bass oh or gary peacock for example on the bill evans trio it just presents a bass really right in front uh without without kind of muddying it if i, if I can try and explain it um, so it's an absolute pleasure hearing the richness in the mids and the bass, um, the, the, the depth of bass, basically. Uh, fourthly, the thing that really gets me about this, and I mentioned this before in my first video, is the way that it deals with uh, the decay of notes. It it really does. I mean, it kind of links in with the first point about pulling out um, detail. But I, uh, I'm really finding with vocals, this thing really, really gorgeously presents female vocals particularly right in front um anything that i've got melody mcgardo aretha franklin it it's just like taking off a, a layer of of skin <laughs> and and really getting down to the music and in a really um incredibly detailed way but it's just I, I, the other thing is there's hardly any sibilance i know sibilance is kind of linked with the way that things are recorded but I get very little sibilance. If you don't know what sibilance is, it's that it's the loss of um, sound at a very high pitch. You know, sort of high pitch singing, um, high pitch, particularly singing, or, or um, when uh, performers are using the you know, the S word, it's that sibilance, um, as I understand it. And this thing deals with it. I, I hardly ever hear any sibilance with this. Possibly my cloth ears, but I, I. Um, I'm completely marvelled by it. I'm listening to Nina Cherry at the moment, and I, it's just wonderful. Um, and fifthly and lastly, but not you know, not lastly, is that I, I, I love the look of it. <laughs> um, I love that red, ruby red finish. Um, it just looks fantastic. And uh, late at night, if I've got I've got the LEDs in the background to match, uh, it just looks fantastic. It's got a great presence and. Um, uh, really, really happy with it. Really happy with it. So in terms of cleaning, I don't know um, how well publicised it is, but I, you know, I've i stopped using the gel and I've stopped using the liquid stylus cleaner. 
Um, there's been lots of news recently in the audio file final community about the use of gels and the residue that it can leave um, on the on the uh, on the diamond tip. So I've completely stopped using it. Riga don't actually recommend any kind of cleaning solution or any kind of gunk of any of any sort. My go-to method of choice with and I have to be very careful with it because of the way that the the, the cantilever is quite long on the Anya Pro. I, I use a carbon brush, so I, I, I brush it um, with that. I clean the brush first with the Giotto air blower and get most of the muck off. Um, the other day I had a, a hair wrap around the diamond tip and I had to very, very carefully get my wife's tweezers and very carefully just just pulled the, this little hair off um so but yeah I, I i wouldn't recommend you using anything other than a, a dry carbon brush um so that's it what we under under seven minutes so anyway uh, i'm really stoked um i just want to thank you for for watching and subscribing i've managed to get 70 subscribers or 71 i think <laughs> so it's, it's it's quite nice um to know that some of you guys listening out there to uh, my mumblings and uh, hearing my vinyl journey. Um, so anyway, Riga Anya Pro for me is 10 out of 10. I was a bit biased about it, but it's a on the P6. It's a fantastic cartridge. If you're if you're thinking about moving up to this little gem, um, I would thoroughly recommend it. Well, have a listen to it first. It might not be your thing, but have a listen to it. I thoroughly recommend it. And uh, keep spinning your records. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.